Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I'm back with the bee journal. Y'all, this thing, I love it. I love the way it feels. I, it's like, it's so sturdy, and I love the way it feels, and I love the way it looks. I love everything about this. Um, the only thing that I have to complain about, and it's my fault, is that I should have made this bigger. <laughs> and probably you guys are going, you know, Tina, make that bigger. You probably were saying that back when I was doing it. So what I ended up doing is cutting down my signatures. I took out all the extra papers and just used the ones in the kit. And I have one, two, three, four sheets of paper um, in each signature. So that's what I'm gonna go with and as you can see, once I add things, it's still probably going to be a little chunky, but that's okay. I'm okay with chunky. So what I did with the extra stuff is I had a, I had a uh, page left over, so I made a little notepad. And basically all I did was tear some paper, put a couple staples up here, and then uh, just a folded sheet of that paper. And then the other one, I made a little book. So I thought, a little journal. So I thought, okay, I'll use some of that stuff to make some of that stuff. So I've been playing around. The other thing I did is, I don't know if you can see this or not. I have a B stamp. I don't know if you can see that this is embossed. I, had, I colored him, put him on, um, on very old, very old book paper. I mean, this stuff is so old, look, that's how old. So when I cut it out, I had a problem because, you know, I cut it out. So what I did, I've, so I realized that in order to use them, and they're all, in, I just colored them, I shaded and embossed the wings. This is just a stamp. Um, and then I realized that I'm gonna have to put them on something like a piece of cardstock, and I have leftover cardstock, so I'm gonna do that. But I think it, they think I think it turned out really cool. So that's one thing I did, playing with and playing. I also have, you know, the kit. The kit also. This is an extra page that I had. This kit also because I used it. I, I used it for the inside, so I didn't want to use it again. But um, on the inside of the cover, so I can cut these bees out and do the same thing, and they're kind of cool too. So I may do that. The ephemera, the ephemera. I also made these, I have a uh, embossing folder that has a honeycomb. So I went ahead and made this out of some paper and I sprayed it with uh, vintage photo and um, wild honey, yes. To maybe make some pockets out of it or something. So I have all of that. This stuff, this came Look at all this. This came with the kit. Look. And I inked, of course, I cut them all out. I inked them, and then I splattered them with gold because you can never have too much gold. So you've got tags. You've got these little, look how cute, little tiny mason jars, little tiny tags. They have these little um, hexagon, I guess they're called, and they're these. And then I sewed around some of them, just cause, just cause I wanted to. And the kit came with some blank tickets, so I just took one of my ticket stamps and stamped on it. And some of them, like I said, I felt like sewing around. Here's another one of those tickets. Another ticket, another ticket, aren't they cute? I mean, look at how much ephemera this kit comes with. It's crazy. And I sewed around that one. And here's some more. And I mean, I, I took it all to work. It took me all day to cut all this out. Um, but they're all really beautiful. And I just, I backed them up on the, um, some of them I backed up like that uh, on, you know, on the, on, on the backing pages. Some of them I just backed on the regular page, you know, that the, the background page. I, I ended up doing the background page um, because I, I had a hard time lining it up, to be honest. 
um, they had, she has backs on all of them um, for everything, but I had a hard time lining it up. So I gave up and just put it backed in on the back paper. So I have all of these. Um, so another thing, what I did, she's got these right here and I left one open. Um, this is how it comes up when you cut it out. And I went ahead and left it um, without cutting it out, uh, cutting it up, because some of them I, I cut up. I just cut up because I, I wanted to. Um, and I'll show you those in a minute. So see some of these, I'll show you it now. Some of these I, I, I cut up and I did this with, and I have a couple of them. I just took this and I put it on this one because I figured I could just glue them down or put them on and make a tuck, tuck out of them or something. And I have three of those. So there were three more of these. And then what I did with the backs of those, um, like this one, I put one of those little um, mason jars and I made a little tuck out of it. But, and then this one was the top and I just put this on it to make it pretty. <laughs> and that could be a pocket. Uh, and I'll get to this in a second. And there also came with a bunch of pockets. Look at all of this stuff, y'all. All of these pockets. Me is barking at the cat. Let's see. And it came with this belly band, and I sewed around that just because I thought it would be cool. And also came, um, oh, here's another one of those that I cut up. It came with these journaling cards also, um, which I just stenciled on the backs of them. This one got a little too wet, but I don't care. I still think it's cool. So I'm going to keep it just like that. So with this one, the purpose of this is it has these little white lines right here. So you fold this at that line like that, lining it up with the sides. Look at that cat. Cat, why? Why must you vex poor Mia? And then this gets folded up like this. And it is a tag. So it becomes a tag with a pocket. And you just put this, um, you just glue this down. Let me get my glue sheet. Sometimes, you know, you don't ever have problems with glue. <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes my glue just isn't good. Wasn't my friend. So anyway, so you would do that, and then I don't know. Maybe when it gets warm, this I used to use this this glue all the time, and I really actually like this better. Now I use that more. So we glue the tiny little place of glue, tiny little little glue. This down, and there you have it. And of course, you know, ink up the, the edge right there. But yeah, isn't that cute? And then you can um, use one of these. And that, there you go, in the pocket. So, so the first thing I need to do with this lovely journal is to sew in the pages, and. I'm having a little lemonade and it's real lemonade so I need to figure out I always recommend making a template and I like to make mine out of paper just plain old paper and this is a pencil 
We said it was like three quarters of an inch, so. Let me get my, my woola. Actually, it's a half an inch between there. That's not good, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Actually, I think I'll use my trimmer because it's quicker. Quicker. More quicker. Half an inch. Half an inch. Okay. And this is going to be so... I'm going to take this and measure it against my pages. And go ahead. Just like that. Just kind of like a little where my pages are. And do that. Then I am going to fold it. No, I'm not. Then I'm going to take my trusty ruler and I can see that I can put one here and one there and I am just going by these little I guess they're eighths of an inch I don't know I'm not a good measurer not a good measurer at all. Whoops. Yeah. And I'm just drawing lines. I like my lines to look nice. Here comes the cat. He's up on top of my cricket. Okay, so now what I like to do is I just like to fold it in half so I can find the center because I'm just lazy. And I'll probably just do a three-hole pamphlet stitch because, you know, hey, why not? So there, right there is the middle. I don't think I need to do a five-hole. I think I'm just going to do, because it's little, and I'm just going to do a three-hole. So I'm going to do an inch from the bottom and an inch from the top. Am I out of frame? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Like so. Then I probably, maybe I will. No, I think I need to, maybe I should have made it bigger. No. I am going to take a piece, another piece, because this is so tiny and you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm gonna do this. Make another piece. There went my kids, there went my kids. And I'm going to, they're fussing. They get fussy. They get so fussy. Somebody ain't doing something right. Somebody ain't doing something right. I always like to make a template just because. I'm going to fold this sucker in half. I love this journal. And just gonna need to fold it in half. Four o'clock. I tell you, yesterday it was raining and I didn't want to go to the grocery store and today it's like 70 degrees. It's crazy, crazy, crazy weather. I'm gonna line this up. 
because I want to make sure I'm going to use this as a template for my pages and I want to make sure that the holes are in the right spot this top top I always mark it top so now I have a template for my pages this one will be for the book so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up in the center well as center as I can let me get me some tape kind of tape do you know I think I will use me some Mexican tape. Kids. Do you guys have kids? Grandchildren? Kids. I think that's in the center. Yep, I think so. Do you want a pinch? Actually, no. This is. I'm gonna make sure it's between them lines. Between them lines, y'all. Okay. Just to do it. And just to keep it. I'll go ahead and do another one. Now, I like to use, you can use an awl, but I do like to use my crocodile just because I know it's going to make nice, great big holes. But you can also use, you know, a pokey tool. So I'm going to do this. But I am going to use mine. I remember somebody was asking me, asking um, if they thought this was worth getting on one of the Facebook groups. And I was like, one lady said, I never use mine. I'm like, I use mine all the time, <laughs> all the time. I use it for setting eyelets and I use it for punching holes. So now, and those, and the reason I like, I like big holes. <laughs> And sometimes, and I have done it on some occasions where I've put eyelets in there. So I could do that too. Maybe I will. I think I should put some eyelets in there. So this is done. I don't need this anymore. I can throw this away. I think I might. That'd be kind of cool looking. Put some eyelets in there. Uh oh. I'm going to have to re glue that. Okay. See. I need to glue it. It did not come out. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Maybe it'll work better. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. And those are pretty straight. So I think I will do that. But sometimes. Yeah, let's make things look cool. So I think I will. So I have my eyelets here. I have a bunch of these little bitties. Don't want that cut. I want these. Cut. Now, I'm put the eyelet in there. Like that. And what I like to use, where's my other one? Here, no. This is like, I usually keep one. <laughs> Actually, this isn't going to work. I have to use the big one. Holes are in. You have to watch the way this sets. Like this little one and then the little one. Oh, I like that. So, it's sometimes it's hard. Actually, this one. So, go ahead and line it up. Whoops. I have to line it up. And then I got that on there, like that. I don't know why. Sometimes I like to use eyelets. It's something that fancy schmancy. I'll do it for this one. 
you know what maybe not although yeah why not I was gonna part of me thought I would do like put a what am I talking about put some lace over top of it or something but I changed my mind this is like Come on now, it's not gonna wanna go through. Let me just put that one in there. And I got all my grocery shopping done. And went to the Goodwill. Discovered these napkins and bought them. They're so pretty. So much you can do with napkins. You know, you know. There, and then this one. There. There. I'm sorry that I'm kind of out of frame, but it's not a whole lot you can do with it. I don't know if I did it right. No, that one didn't. That one doesn't want to be, doesn't want to behave. Don't know why. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes the thing, did the thing slip? I don't know. Sometimes. Gonna be, ah, uh, might be all right. I don't know. I just want to make sure it's like, tsh. it'll be all right. It'll be all right, I think. I'm not gonna see it anyway. Okay. And that goes there. Okay. Now, I'm going to get a piece of thread. I have my this thing and I want to find a thread that kind of I think this would be good actually. So I do like that. You get my little needle box. And then figure out make sure this is the most important part. Make sure all your pages are the right way that you want them. Many have been disappointed to know that once their signatures are sewn in, um, they have unfortunately, unfortunately done them on the wrong side. So they're upside down, but you're, this, this is not gonna happen. So I also have, like I said, my trusty all, this came with this kit. What do I do with it? Right here, this little awl right here. So first of all, let me get my, my thread. And where's the end of it? Here it is. This is waxed thread. One, two, and about a half. It's probably overkill, but it's okay. And a nuddle. Just a, just a big noodle. Anyway. So, go ahead and put this in here. Line it up. And then I like to do it sideways. And that way I know I'm getting it in the crease. Some of y'all may be better at this than me, but I know that if I do it sideways, it's going to be in the crease. So then I go in through the middle. This will be the first one. So I'm going in through the middle. And then it doesn't matter if you go up or down. So I'm gonna go up 
and through that this is just a regular three hole pamphlet stitch go all the way to the bottom like that and then you want to come back in the middle but when you come back in the middle you want to be careful not to split that thread I don't know if you can see I'm going back in the middle as best I can. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. So, going in the middle. Ah, here it is. And I don't want to split that thread, but I want to come up. Yeah, it's not split. If it's split, it won't tighten at all. So then you want to, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to tighten it like this. I'm going to look over here and make sure these are tight. And then I'm going to go right over left, left over right. And I'm going to leave a one long. I'm going to leave them long for now because I might put um, maybe a little charm at the end. So I'm going to do that for that. So I got that one in there. And then we need to do one more. So I'm gonna go one, two, two and a half. There. Okay. Take my template. Make sure which is the top. Uh, that is the bottom. I want the little bee on the bottom. Make my bees all nice and okay. I'll line it up. Oh, make sure this is the top. And, you know, even though I got them, even though I measured, you never know. I mean, it could be just a little bit off. So, it's good to mark it. Anyway. Anyway, so. Now we have this. Oh, where's my needle? I didn't shred my needle. Shred my needle. I'm just loving this kit y'all it is just so cute all right where's my middle so we go in the middle in this middle go you can go to the top or bottom it doesn't really matter i'm going to the top Let's see through my eyelet and it wouldn't have mattered if i didn't have an eyelet you don't have to have an eyelet sometimes and sometimes it's hard to find Look at that. I found it and then I pulled it, pulled the needle out. I am, come on now. It is. Okay, where's the hole? I can see it. There. <laughs> and all the way down. And through the bottom, like that. I think I have enough. Ah, oh, there you go. And then go back in here through the center. Trying really, really hard not to split that. And coming up on the other side of that, like that. I didn't do it right. It's okay. You just want these to be on both sides of that thread, this middle thread. You want it to be on both sides. Down here. Right. Over left. Left over right. Pull tight. Okay. So now I have my book. So it can take a few minutes. And I don't want, I know you probably don't want to see me doing a lot of stuff. But I will probably be playing with this a lot. Maybe this will go in here. Oh, and look. See, I love this ephemera. So I can make, let's see my first blank page right here. Let's put, 
a little pocket right here. And these pockets, of course, you fold. You can also, if you want to, you can use a, where's my bone folder? Oh. You can use a scoreboard, which I might do that because it's, it might be easier to get a straight line. And I have this little bibby, bibby, <laughs> this little bibby, little bitty score, scoreboard. And so if I do that, it'll be a lot easier to score. I got a little bitty one so I could take it to work. Isn't that ridiculous? Because yeah, I have so much downtime at work. So I do this, do this, and there you go. And then ink it up. And take my, I think what you wanna do, when you've got these pockets, here's a little, little tip. You wanna glue these on the outside of there. And then that way it'll give you a straight pocket. You could see down in there. If you do it the other way, then you may find that the whatever you're trying to fold or put in there will get stuck on this when it goes in there. And I put this on cardstock, so I don't know how this is, you know, it's going to bulk up this thing. It's going to bulk it up. So I think, I think it's so pretty. I like this. You see that? I like it. And where's my, I'm going to put these pockets. Where'd my little bumblebee go? I don't know what I did with him. Um, the other thing that you can do is add stickers or flowers or... I don't know what I did with my little bumblebee. Oh, over here. Over here, I thought. Maybe not. Yeah, right here. Here he is. I think I might put him... He kind of looks like a mean bee, doesn't he? No, he might. That's my dog. I'll make some more of these because I think he's kind of cute. And then tags. Actually, I think I can put one of the great big ones in here. Yep, yeah, not pretty. Yep. Yep, or even one, even this one that's all, so anyway. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm headed. So um, just keep on decorating and playing. And let's see, like this one, I could put, see, that's too much of a contrast, I think. I mean, yeah, too much of a, it's going down in there. These would be cute as a tuck spot. But I think I'll do the blank pages first. Here's another busy bee right here. Let's do another one. One of my favorite movies is The Secret Life of Bees. I just think Dakota Fanning is so cute in that movie. And she is adorable. I'm going to do the same thing. I don't want to be... So I don't know. Anyway, this is like... I am having fun with this guy. 
and I am going to finish messing with it and then I will come back and let you see what I've done. So I'll be back I'm in a back. Minute. And I I probably will keep playing with this because um, I, I don't think it's done, but I, I did manage to use all the ephemera and I'll probably keep playing with it. But this is what I did. Um, of course I added the little, the little paper pad here and then just another piece of paper. Sometimes I like to just do random sheets of paper to journal on. This I made as a tuck spot, and it's got a couple of little things in there. If you can see this. Of course, I put a pocket here, and one of my little bees right there. And I didn't do a whole lot to all the pages. I put a little, I put a little uh, cheesecloth and you know these things on the pocket. I put one of the little tickets here as a tuck spot and another just random little piece of paper. Here's one of the pockets that I made. Excuse me. And there's a couple of things in there. And of course, you can always journal on the back. This is the belly band. And I put a, one of the tickets there with some cheesecloth. And this one, I just put the pocket and added a little um, ticket there. Nothing with this page. This, I put the pocket here and I put a border here from one of the other pages that I wasn't using. Here's another pocket. And this I made into, it was one of the pages. And I can journal on the back. And it's in here. Cutie patootie. This has... It made as a tuck spot, and it is a little pocket. And I put one of the little ones on there. This I made into a flip here, and it's a tuck spot here. And I've got some of the little tickets. And then here flips up, a tuck spot there. And under here is another one of the tags and this is one of the journaling these are the journaling cards that came in there I just made them into a flip and this is velcro one of my little velcro dots that I like so much did that that's kind of cool um, I did my honeycomb paper and put two of my little bees and uh, they put um, just some tags in there here is another one of the kit pockets Here's my honeycomb paper, and I just um, put some of the of the stuff on there, and just tuck some things in there. This is one of the pockets that I made, and you take this out, and this flips up, and we got some journaling space like that. So we can put that back down, and this holds it in. It's cute, and I used a part of one of the pages, and this is another one of the little bees that I made out of the book pages. And here's the honeycomb paper again. And I just added some tags. I wasn't sure what to do with this. So I just left it blank for now. And I think, I, I don't know if I'm gonna, I think I might you know, put some stuff from the garden this year or something, just, I don't know. And here's another one of the pocket that came with the kit and the tags and another one. Here's my honeycomb paper that I made. And some more tags that came with the kit. And here's these. And I think, you know, what I wanted to show you using this kit is that you can, you know, using a, a digi kit, you can make a pretty decent journal. Um, and then these are some more tags just to, um, to play with. And then I left this blank and this is the little, little booklet that goes in this pocket. And I haven't, I'm going to add a couple of little things down here. I haven't decided yet. And I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with a closure. I haven't, I was thinking I would, I really like the closure with the bead and um, where you, you know, put an eyelet here and you add a ribbon. I just, I'm just not sure. I don't have any ribbon that I like well enough to do that. And um, so I'm just going to keep it like it is for now. So anyway, 
So I hope you guys liked making this. This is so much fun. Look at the little gator mouth. I still think it's, I, I, I do love it. I think it's a really neat project and I will be doing this cover again. This is, seriously, I wish you guys could, could feel this cover. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you liked it and um, give it, give the video a thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for watching and leave me a comment below if there's anything that you saw in here that you want me to show you how to do. Most of it's pretty simple, but um, I would be glad to show you um, how to do those things. So anyway, thanks for watching again and love you guys. See you later. Bye.